Hey, 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 everybody. Hey, everybody on Facebook Live tonight. Uh, we are coming in tonight with something good. Miss, y'all, you're not on. <laughs> We're not on? Hold on. You sure we're not on? Tell I, someone if you owned it. Okay. If we're on, let me let me know. Tell them to put a one there or something. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. I'm things that go on my phone, I think. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it now. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, everybody, you're gonna have to just okay. bear with us. Okay. You gotta bear with us. You know, we having to learn this technology. We don't have some tech pros over here. You know what I'm talking about? But it's been a long time since we've been together on Facebook Live. I need you to come on in tonight, pull a chair up, and I want to um, you to like the video. I want you to share the video. I want you to comment. I want you to tag. I want you to do something. I don't want you to just sit and listen. I want you to, to get in here with us and help us. So tonight we have a guest on the broadcast, which is a good friend of mine. And we're going to, she's going to give her testimony. And we need some people in here to be praying for her during her testimony because this is her first time to give her testimony. And y'all all know that's a little nerve wracking. So I'm going to go in and see who's, is anyone coming in, Carolyn? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me speak to some of the people that are coming in. Michael hey, Michael, how are you tonight? Hey, Deb, how are you, girl? Y'all are going to hear a really, 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 Hey, Miss Carolyn. We got Miss Carolyn over here in the corner <laughs> helping us. Time out. It takes three to do this, y'all know. It takes <laughs> three to, to pull up a Facebook Live. <laughs> but anyway, um, I want y'all to really invite people in and come on in and let's just have a good time tonight. And so we're going to pray over the broadcast and that it will be done just exactly like the Lord wants it to. And like I said, I just invite some people. Hey, Lynn, Harvey, how are you? Hey, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, we're just going to start it. So, uh, Miss Carolyn, would you like to pray over the broadcast? I will. Yeah, we're going to make Carolyn get in here, too. <laughs> yes. This is Miss Carolyn Matthews. Father, right now, we just love you so much. Mm, glory yes, to thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Father, we plead the precious blood of Jesus over this broadcast right yes, now. Lord. We come against the enemy. Anything he would yes, try to Lord. throw our way, God, we thank you for the shield of faith that those fiery darts, yes, they will Lord. be ex ex extinguished. <laughs> oh, God. Extinguished. Um, extinguished <laughs> because our, because our yes, shield Lord. has been soaked. In the word, and when those fiery darts come, glory. they're going to just yes. go out. Glory. And God, we thank you right now. Yes, Surround Lord. them with your uh, precious blood, with yes, your Lord. angels. Father God, come and have your way. Yes, Lord. Do what only you can do. Yes, and Lord. just use Christy yes, for Lord. your glory. In yes, Jesus' Lord. name, amen. 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 Well, the first off, to start on this, on this thing, Christy and I are... We are both, we are kindred spirits. We yes. we both have been uh, delivered yes. from the satanic realms. Yes. And God has connected us. And so you know how you have those connections. And so she has a dynamic uh, deliverance ministry ahead of her. God has already showed me. And so whoo, I feel the Lord already, God, yes. praise oh. you, Father. And yes. so she's stepping out of the comfort zone and let me applaud her for that folks do you know what we've been sitting on the church too long on the comfort zone god wants us to come out of the dark places and quit being religious and get in here and tell people what jesus christ has done for you because people have been hearing about church till they're tired of hearing come to church how about come to Jesus? How about that one? Yes. Let's get it. Oh, I feel the Lord Jesus. already. Let, let's get people to Jesus. He'll do all the fine tuning. He'll do all the stuff. We don't have to do it. We just get them to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Correct, ladies? Yes. Clean. Yeah. Yes. So I want to introduce Christy tonight, uh, Christy Pippen, and she's 49 years old, mm -hmm. just a baby. Mm -hmm. And um, she's got a, I'm just going to get out of the way and let her. 
uh, give her testimony. I need some prayer warriors coming on here and praying. I need some people that are sharing. I see nine live viewers. That's not true. We're going to have some more viewers on here. Hi, hi, June. How are you? So, guys, get ready for this as deliverance about being delivered. And that's a new word in the church house called deliverance. Yes. It's called that you were bound and God has set you free. You, oh, hallelujah. So I'm going to just give it to you, Christy, and, and you're going to do fine. You just go ahead. Well, the first thing I have to say is I am nervous. <laughs> this is the first time I have ever been live. And so this is a very new experience. And I know because I watch Pam all the time and she says, y'all know I'm country, but she has met her match. <laughs> I believe I am more country than her. And I want to set the record straight that I am not a glamorous person. I am not um, probably going to say the right words only through the Holy Spirit. Yes. Um, so y'all just be with me. And yes, Lord. the first thing I have to say is I have to start at the beginning. I have yes, to start Lord. with the current situation and then go back. Yeah. Then to come forward again, because that's the only way it really is going to make sense. Um, the Lord started preparing me uh, several years ago. I hurt my back and had to go to the physical therapist like we all do. And in that, I did my physical therapy and it wasn't the right place. Time went on, I hurt my back again, went to a different physical therapist, and it wasn't the right person again. You know, God works in threes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the third time I hurt my back, I said, okay, Lord, where am I supposed to be going to this physical therapist? So I went to another one, and it was a God divine appointment. God set me up Hello. to meet a lady that would start my journey on this inner healing because... Glory. My life was so bound, so bound for so many years, 49 years mm. I was in bondage, mm. that through that, meeting her, because I was a very closed off person, I had hardened my heart, I had put up so many walls that I didn't trust people, especially women, and meeting this woman and her gift of healing was instantaneous. And she was like, okay, this is why you just spilled your guts to me, <laughs> because I'm not that person. Like, I don't share about me to people. And I started sharing with her in just seconds of meeting her. And from that, we started an appointment. And I went to her, and the Lord started breaking off all this hardness of my heart and was allowing the Holy Spirit to start healing in my heart because it had to start there um, i would not have been able to get free and have deliverance if my heart had stayed in that hardened state and because i had met her and gone through some sessions with her and then came to church and just in a coincidence not a coincidence a god appointment mm -hmm. i was speaking about this inner healing that i was getting and how my life was changing and i could see it and i could sense it and i knew it and through that, a class developed of women, of trusted women, and we started a book and we went through a series of deliverance classes. And through that progression of that book, my eyes, the shields came off of my eyes, those scales, and more of my heart was being tenderized by the Holy Spirit. And I was getting revelation of how bound I really was. And through this book and knowing how deliverance, because it was not preached, it was not taught to me growing up. And so I did not understand how bound and how many demonic things that were in my life that I had opened the door to. And because of all of that and going through that class, then the church, our church went into prayer and fasting at the beginning of the year and you know how the devil works I had already prepared myself for this and we went to a wedding on December the 31st and some of the groomsmen were sick and didn't tell anybody 
And the next day when I woke up, I was sick. I had a high fever. I was very, very ill. So I was very sick through New Year's. And by, of course, the doctor's office was closed on Monday. My mom had to take me to the doctor on Tuesday. I could barely walk to the car. I was so sick. And this was nothing but the attack of the enemy against me. And went to the doctor. By Friday, I was worse than I was on Tuesday. And they put me in the hospital. I was in the hospital for three days. I got out. And I was still sick and got sicker. And in this sick and worse state that I was in, at just like three o'clock in the morning, I woke up and the TV was on and a show came on and I was watching the show and it was so demonic, but I was so weak, I could not resist. And through that demonic movie, I felt the enemy come into mm -hmm. me in a way that I had not ever experienced. And I was paralyzed by this and I got so sick that I thought I was going to die he attacked my body in such a harsh way that my husband took me to the emergency room because he was so worried about me he had to carry me I was so weak I lost 10 pounds I lost a lot of muscle but it was such an attack a heavy attack against me that I thought I was going to die but God <laughs> And it was the exact week that the fast ended and that we had an evangelist that was coming to our church to minister at the end of this revival. Glory. And I was so weak, but I was determined. I was not going to miss it. I knew that God had something for me. Glory. And I went that Sunday morning and I was hobbling like a little old man. I could shuffle in my feet and my husband was holding me by the arm. Mm -hmm. And I said, we just need to sit on the back because I'm still coughing. I'm so weak. I don't, I didn't want anybody to talk to me. And we went and we sat on the back row over in the corner. And I, I was exhausted just raising my hands during praise and worship. And I went to the front, I hobbled my little self down <laughs> to the front and I sat on the on the altar and I could just barely raise my hands and I just I was crying out to God to heal me to yes, help Lord. me and of course we left and we and I went home and I slept and I got up and I told my mom I said I'm going back tonight I don't care how I get there but I'm going back tonight and we went and of course I'm still so weak and I'm hobbling up there but I was determined I wasn't going to sit in the corner and we sat close to the front like where we normally do like where we normally do and the message was just for me it was for me okay. and I went to the front and I'm usually one to be over to the side and somehow I ended up right in the middle <laughs> of the front yeah, you did. and I was praying for God to heal my body because I was so weak and I was just crying out to God heal my body heal my body and the evangelist, she came by, she said a little prayer, and she moved on. And I was yeah. like, well, Lord. And so another lady came up to me that is only an acquaintance. And she said, I don't know you well. And this may sound cookie because I don't go to church with you. She said, but I have been praying for you for days. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, glory to God, you know, thank you, Jesus. And I said, I've been so sick. She said, okay, I'm going to pray for that. She said, but that's not really what I felt. And then I had some others I could hear behind me praying as they laid their hands on me. And, you know, we just pressed in. And then my dear sister, <laughs> my, my spiritual sister here, my spiritual mother, she came up. And the two of these ladies started praying for me. And I'm going to tell y'all, 49 years of growing up in church Thank every you, time Jesus. the doors were opened. I knew God. But I did not have a relationship with God. Mm, go on, I was you. in a dead religion. Come on. And I knew I needed more of God. And they started praying for me. And literally, at first, it was for my health. But God had an appointment for me. Yes. And they started praying. And I'm one that I was so prideful, I would resist ever going down in the floor. And I have been slain in the spirit. I have been in the floor, but I would resist because it was pride. Mm -hmm. 
and I didn't want <clears throat> right people to talk about me. Right. I didn't want to be in the floor. <laughs> and they were praying for me, and the Spirit of God punched me mm. in my stomach. And I literally was like the board, like I, I tensed up and I was out. And they said I hit hard, but I don't remember that. You did. <laughs> <laughs> and in that time, of, they started with prayer. And I truly, I don't remember everything. I had moments where I could hear prayers and I could hear specific words that were being said. But God came. Hallelujah. Jesus came. Holy Spirit came. And through their prayers, each one of these women Glory. that sacrificed and poured into me that night and didn't give up on me. Come they on. stayed and they pressed mm. until I got deliverance. Ooh, I Lord. got set mm. free <laughs> and it didn't want to come out. It was a struggle. It was real. Mm. So I'm telling y'all, growing up in church and being mm. in church does not and be and filled with the Holy Spirit. I was filled with the Holy Ghost Teacher. when I was in the third grade at church camp. I spoke in tongues and I have my whole life, but I was dead. Come on. I was dead inside. And the Holy Ghost and mm. them declaring and mm. decreeing and speaking deliverance over me, Glory. telling it to come out, they started to cast things off of me and out of me. And inside my body, I felt turmoil. I felt restriction. I felt things moving inside my body. And I remember at certain points them saying a specific word and my body reacting, rigid, mm -hmm. moving. There was a choking at one time mm -hmm. where I could not speak. And I was... It was holding me in bondage, and it did not want to come out of me. Several things, and it was putting up a very hard resistance. And I don't know how long, but it felt like a long time, hours in the floor for them not to give up. And the evangelist came, and she, when she would put her hand on my head, I knew it. Mm -hmm. And she started commanding mm -hmm. these demons and things to come out of me, and her authority caused them to come out. And they were not coming out pretty. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I knew people later, I was told, you know, they were talking and they couldn't, no one could figure out what was happening to me. And, mm -hmm. you know, let the gossips gossip because I didn't really care. I got set free and my shirt says, I'm healed. Whoop, wrong way. <laughs> healed, set free and delivered. Glory. And I am. And I'm a child of God. Yes, Lord. And I have a mission and I have a mandate. Mm -hmm. And I want to see other all people, but especially I have a heart for women yeah. that have been through some stuff. Come on, come <laughs> because on. Because in church we have hidden and we've 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 hid it, we've shut it down, yes. we've packed it over into a box and said, Oh, not me, not me. Mm -hmm. We come in with a smiley face mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. and we're pretending Woo. every Sunday we come in and we're just pretending and we're not getting we're not getting what we truly need we're not getting deliverance we're not opening up we're not getting freedom that we need and the church is the place where we need the freedom because amen we've just been hiding mm -hmm. and amen. so that is where we started and so to back up and i'm going to try to make this quick and not go into a lot of detail about everything but i'm going to tell y'all that the freedom is so good when you've been bound for so long. Come on. Because Come on. People didn't know. Come on now. Even my family, my mom did mm. not know the bondage that I was Thank in. Thank you, Lord. Because I couldn't share it. I was so bound. Mm. And so I lived a life in torment. Um, and these may be churchy words for some of y'all, but I'm just going to tell you. <laughs> generational curses are real yes and i was born two in one my birthday is the 21st and i had a dream and it i was two in one it is it's a a divine number and i was born into generational curses from both sides of my family not just one from two two in one my mother's family were very strict people um there was never any love shown to my mother 
And so therefore she did not show that to me. And it was passed to my stepchildren, you know, and my dad's family, there was sexual curses that came through his bloodline. Mm. And there was torment and demonic things from both sides of mm. my family that I was born into. Mm. And it came to me. It was in me from birth. Yeah. And I Come did on. not know that until I got set free. And I have learned about how this is transferred through our very cells in our I blood. Mean. And was born into that and I was there was war on my life from the first breath I took from being birthed mm -hmm. my mother went into labor very quickly with me after the third I was the third child and my dad had to deliver me mm -hmm. the enemy started trying to take me out mm -hmm. at birth before mm -hmm. birth if you consider the generational curses on, but at my birth the, the enemy has been trying to take me out my whole life. And I did not understand that because it wasn't talked about in the church. It wasn't, uh, we weren't taught about anything about it. And so I didn't know how to handle any of it. Right. Growing up. And then I was molested by several people, friends, their brothers. When I would stay the night, it was a progression. It was a cycle of the devil trying yeah. to take me out consistently trying to take me out i was raped when i was 14 um which caused a huge hole in my life and so from all of that trauma at an early age of being very weird very misunderstood <laughs> i never fit in <laughs> ever N not even as a young child like I could be playing with kids and still Been be in. different like I didn't know yeah how really weird I was <laughs> <laughs> I've always known I just didn't fit in I yeah. could walk up to any group and make conversation but I never fit in I didn't have very many friends um set apart I was I was I was, <laughs> I was always different like I was just weird to everybody else I guess <laughs> And I was very uh, insecure. Mm -hmm. I was a very thin person. Um, I'm very skinny. <laughs> and um, because of that, I was horrendously bullied as a child. Um, you know, they say, don't don't poke fun at overweight people, but mm -hmm. the skinny people have feelings <laughs> too. And, you know, I was called everything you can imagine. Uh, I always said, oh, well, you must be bulimic. You must be this. You must be that. No, I was just then. I was just then. And I was super active. And um, so anyway, this whole that molestation, being born into these curses and this cycle of abuse that happened to me over and over. It's like everywhere I turned, it was happening to me. Hmm. And I had this void, this darkness. And it was an open door to the enemy into my life. And because of that, I turned to men to fill this void yeah. because I, I longed for intimacy with God in Jesus because I knew who he was and I had the Holy Spirit in me because I received him when I was in the third grade and I knew him, but I did not have relationship with him. And so therefore I did not know how to handle all of this as a child. And so that black hole just grew deeper. And because of it, I put up more walls around my heart I put up more you know defenses I didn't trust people I didn't want to be around a lot of people and I was very rebellious um my brother and sister are older you know they didn't give my parents any problems but me uh I was always pushing the boundary I knew how far I could go without going to jail or getting caught that was probably the thing that saved me the most was I would do a lot of things and but I didn't get caught and I should have because maybe I had learned valuable lesson earlier. But um, the truth is, you know, I was having um, intimate relationship with men before I was married. And several times I would cry out to God. I would say, don't let me be pregnant. Don't let me be pregnant. I, you know, I've messed up God, but don't let me be pregnant. Well, 49 years. And I was never able to have a child. So I'm telling y'all, be 
careful what you pray for wow. because it is very powerful. Your words wow. to God because he hears you. Even wow. in your sin, even in your desperation, he hears your prayers. Wow. And um, and that was a hard lesson. And it hurt. It hurt for many, 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 many years. I couldn't even be around baby showers. I didn't like to go to church on Mother's Day. I wanted to honor my mother and I would go to honor her. But it was piercing to my soul because it was the guilt that I carried for my choices. And I was in these competitive, these just cycles. And that's what the evangelist talked about that night. We're in these cycles yeah. and they just keep repeating themselves. Amen. And so I would have these moments where God would use me. I would draw, he would draw mm -hmm. me. He was always drawing me, but mm -hmm. I was always turning my back to him because I didn't want to surrender to him because I carried so much shame and so much guilt from all the things that I had done that I thought he never really truly could love me. I never could surrender my life to him because I thought, how can he love me because of all of this that I have done? And he would just keep drawing me and drawing me. And I would go to him and I would Lord. I would give up and I would I would surrender to him. Mm -hmm. And he would use me. And he used me in powerful ways, but then the enemy would come right back. And he would, you know, just well up and he would just take over. And here I was back in sin and living my life for me and not for the Lord and doing my own thing and being religious because I was still going to church yeah. and I was still praying and I was still doing church <laughs> Come on, and now. I was still faking my way <laughs> through church, but I had no relationship. It was dead religion. It was just dead religion. Good. And I thought, well, this is all I get. You know, this is it. You know, I, I listen to the sermons and I'm trying to apply them to my life, but I'm not getting anywhere. So, Lord, what is it? What is it? And through the Lord, you know how he does. He, he arranges things and he yeah. makes a way where we can't see that way. You know, and he put me in the path of the right women at the right time yeah. that could speak into my life and would go the distance for me. Because those people that fasted in January... Because this, the, the Bible says some only come out by prayer and fasting. And those that were in need would not have came out if it was not for the prayer and fasting. Mm -hmm. And back in 20, the end of 23, I was supposed to give my testimony in a women's group. <laughs> it got canceled. <laughs> then it got rescheduled. It got canceled again. And it was in miraculous ways it was an ice storm it was yeah. snow and it was freezing weather and like the lord shut the door each time mm -hmm. for me to give that testimony for a reason because i had not been delivered glory i had not gotten true freedom in my life yet wow and he knew that i needed that before yeah. i could come to him whole and experience his true love Come on, and that's man. what I'm really pushing into right now mm. and experiencing and absorbing like a sponge mm. is his true love Come for on. me. He left the 99 for me. Yep. And I, I have to give God all the praise and all mm. the glory and all the honor because he did that for me. And if he can do that for me and, you know, all the things in my life, it would take me hours yeah y'all to go into the detail of the cycle of things that i have been through in my life in 49 years um Believe you. abusive relationships um you name it when we went through the book and there was a list at the end <laughs> and it asked you know have you been through that i had <laughs> out of like 90 things i probably had 89 checked mm -hmm. i was like Hmm, I wonder if everybody else is like this, or is it just me? <laughs> you know. So I was um I'm here to say that your prayers for people 
sometimes if the Lord just wakes you up in the middle of the night and you're like, well, I don't know why I'm praying for this person. I don't even mm -hmm. know this person. She mm -hmm. didn't even know me, but she had been praying for me. But my women, my tribe, they went to bat for me. They stayed in it until I got that deliverance because mine was a, a lot of layers. I was like mm -hmm. that onion, you know, and it had to come off in layers and layers yeah. and layers. And it was that pre thing that God did for me of softening my heart yes, where I could receive that deliverance. Because if my heart had not been softened, I don't know if I had would have accepted that deliverance you know mm -hmm. because we have to be willing to receive it mm -hmm. and I just want to give God all the mm -hmm. praise and all the glory and I love the circle of women that he has put me in um, because I'm learning from them every day every time we meet and when we're not together I long for them um, because it's so good for me because like I said I've been in church 49 years that's good but I wasn't taught, mm, my God. I wasn't taught these valuable things, these basic principles, you know, and Amen. they're teaching me these things and how to apply that to my life and how to get freedom and get victory, but to stay in it. And it's that, yeah. it's that relationship that we have to have with our Lord. We, in Jesus, we just, we have to surrender we have to go to him and surrender. Amen. And I know like some of y'all see me at church and y'all think, well, this or that because of this outward thing right. that you see, but you didn't right. know me. Like I said, my mom didn't even know who I was, you That's know, good. and the Lord even had to repair and renew Come our on. relationship. And we did. And we're still, you know, coming to things that we have to. You, learn to work out you know um there has been a lot of forgiveness a lot of forgiveness um because I know I hurt my mother and I'm sure you know it wasn't easy for her and so you know it was a lot of crying and because I had such a hard heart it was years and years and years that went by that I never cried um wow. it was months after my dad died from cancer that I even grieved. I wasn't, I wasn't even sure how to grieve. Um, but then, you know, when the Lord softens your heart, I seem like I cry all the time mm. and I start to pray for people and I just start to cry. And I'm like, mm. Lord, can you just let that stop? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's, it's still new to me mm. to feel tender and, um, open because like yes. being on here tonight, this is very open and yes. it's raw and it's, it's hard. It's not easy to put this out there of the things that happened to me and what I went through. Yes. And um, this is a journey. And I know the Lord's yes. going to use my testimony yes, to help women that are hurting. Yes, he is. And just because you're in church, Come like on. I said, doesn't mean you have a relationship Come with on. God. Come on. It doesn't mean that. You know that you're living right. That's right. Because I'm telling you, there's so many broken people in the church. Amen. And we're hiding it. We've all just we been are. hiding it. We just go and we just hide we it and we're going through the motions. And it's not until we really submit to God mm -hmm. and we we pour it out to him and just say, Lord, here it is. You know, yeah, you can get saved in your chair, in your pew or whatever, sitting on the back row. But I'm telling you, when you put your foot forward and you move towards God and you move towards the <laughs> altar of that holy of holy places, because we we can't go to the holy of holies here on earth right now. But the altar in your church is about the closest place you can get to the holy of holies because it's an honorable place. It's a worthy place. It's where he meets us and he wants our reverence. He wants us to be there Hallelujah. to worship him. And, and to me, there's no other place where I, except for in my secret place when I'm praying, you know, by myself at home, but yes, in the church, in our church sphere, that altar is a sacred place. And that's where I feel like the Lord meets you. And you don't just go for show. 
Come like on. I did so Come many on. times, Come on. you know, and it's hard. It's hard to make that step, but you have to put your foot forward. Yeah. You have to move towards him and just say, okay, here it is, God. Here it is. You already know all the junk anyway, but I'm surrendering it to you <laughs> so that you remove it from me. Story. Yes, Lord. <laughs> and so I'm just saying, Glory. there is a testimony. We all Come on. have a testimony to share. And this was not easy for me. And mm -hmm. it's been prophesied that this is the first of many. Mm -hmm. And I hope I get the opportunity to share more mm -hmm. in depth mm -hmm. and more personal sides of some of the trauma and the abuse that I went through. But this was not the setting for that tonight. Right. Um, and it will be in a more intimate, in a personal way. Mm -hmm. Um, but I know the Lord will open up that door and the opportunity for that. He will. But I want to specifically speak to women right now that are hurting. You're broken and you're hiding. It's like you see the father, but you're not going to the father. And so I'm just saying, in your brokenness, just surrender it. Just surrender all of it and let him have it. And even if you think that you've opened the door to the enemy of anything, um, if you've played with Ouija boards, if you have read tarot cards, if you do your horoscope, which I did, um, if you're in darkness, if you have allowed the enemy, help me think of some of the other open doors, um, watching horror movies. Yeah. You yes, know, yes. that's an open door. Yes, it is. If you are listening to heavy metal, mm -hmm. harsh music, that's rap music, that's profanity right. and degrading women, you know, those are open doors to the Portals. enemy. Yes, they are. And in that, you've got mm. to come to the understanding that you have opened yourself up mm -hmm. to evil, pure and simple evil. And a Christian can have demons. I'm just going to say it because here I am. It was me. And so um, they can attach to you, be in you, you know, and we have to take that serious. It's not talked about. It's not um, taught, but it's true and it's real. And so I just ask you if you're suffering in any way or you think that you need deliverance, if you need healing, if you need help, reach out. Um, go to someone that you trust. If you're, if you don't know us, if you do know us, come to us mm -hmm. because we're there to help you to get mm -hmm. freedom, mm -hmm. like we got freedom. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's the whole thing. God wants us mm -hmm. to be free so that we can help others be free. And I just want to say that I love you. I love you all. And that I am truly thankful and I'm I'm grateful for God that he cared so much Amen. about me. Amen. That he didn't give up on Amen. me when I turned my Ooh, back on him. Me too. Yeah. That he yes. kept wooing me, mm -hmm. drawing yes. me, putting people in my life and in my path, you know, mm -hmm. directly in my path to pray for me, to see yes. that I needed him in a true way. And so I just, and I think the evangelist, I think our church, I think our pastor, um, I think the people in my life that have gone to bat for me and that didn't give up on me and that are pouring into my life right now because it's so important. Well, you know, um, what she's saying is, is uh, it's just really, really, really true. So many people are going to church. Yes. And that's good. Yes. And that's a commandment. But if you're lost and if you're bound, you're just going through the rituals. Yes. And rituals don't get you saved. Rituals don't get you delivered. She, oh, I feel the Lord. She had a deliverance. Yes. yes. She had, you had years of this. Yes. So it didn't just come overnight. Yes. 
It was content. And you know what? The Holy Spirit, the reason you were set, the, I feel this Holy mm -hmm. Ghost, the reason you were set, he had his face upon you from the time you were born was because of what you're going to do. It's not, it, it, he's, People say, well, the devil can't read your mind. No, but he can watch you. Yeah. He, he can watch hear us you. And he, can hear us he can watch you. And he, but you know, he, you know, it was all playing. And God's going to use you in that deliverance uh, arena. I know he is. But can I go ahead and say the Holy Ghost for so you? Jesus. You don't mind me saying it, do you? Go ahead. Come on, Jesus. The majority of us need deliverance. Yes, yes Lord. I've been saved. 40 something years I just got committed to God a few years ago because see we ride the fence yes. we dabble with the world mm -hmm. yes. we sleep around yeah I'm gonna get real bold tonight we sleep yes. around and and, and 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 we can sit through a sermon and yawn and do all our good stuff we got it all down pat we know when to raise our hand we know you know yeah. from experience yeah, yeah. We know when to say preacher stand up hallelujah do this do that he's telling you he shouldn't have to tell you. Mm -hmm. yes. You should be under conviction. And I'm not Holy putting Spirit. anybody. I'm just saying, folks, don't get caught up in religion. Because yes. you can go to hell with being religious. Yes. Amen. Hell is waiting on religious folks. I'm going to preach yes. it, God. I'm going to preach on. it. I didn't try to preach Jesus. tonight. But since it's yes. coming, hell is going to be full of religious Amen. folks. Don't you be worried about the prostitutes and the drug addicts and the meth addicts. Yes. The deliverance. Yes. You are the religious folks are going to be the leaders. Yes. They're going to be the leaders right into hell. You can be so convinced that everything is right in your life. Yes. Amen. You Amen. can be so convinced. Come on. Yes. Everything looks good, but then God starts peeling back the stuff. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> then he starts going into your life and your heart and starts pulling back those layers. Because God is the deliverer yes. and the healer. Yes. And I'm saying this with love. Folks, people need deliverance. Yes, they, do. they need God to do some inner healing in their life. The preachers preach, but they cannot make you submit to this. They cannot make you repent. They cannot do that. All they're doing is giving you the word. It's up to you to, to listen to the Holy Spirit. And I thank God for what he has done in your life, Christy. And the first time I ever saw you... <laughs> I mean, you walked in this house, and it's been years ago. Yes. The minute I laid eyes on you, I saw a prophetic woman. I saw a woman of destiny. I saw it right then. And I still see it, and I know that God is going to. And you're going to help heal. You know, she can't save you and heal you, but she can. I'm getting loud, Holy Spirit. But uh, she can she can give you the truth, and the truth will help you. She she's been in this all her life. Yes, her whole life. But she still was in bondage. Yes. And folks, we can pray and still be in bondage. We can lay hands on people and still be in bondage. I'm gonna go and say it, God. We can still need bond. I can still have some hang-ups. I call them yeah. issues. Jesus calls them sins. <laughs> That's just the yeah. way it is. I say issues. He goes, no, it's not issues. It's sin. So anyway, I want to thank Christy for coming in tonight. If anybody, listen, we're looking at the comments, or I'm looking at the comments. If you have any questions for Christy, you could post them or, or anything like that. It says, but she can be a vessel that God uses mightily. Amen. And I already see that over her. I speak that over her, her in the name of Jesus. Yes. And let me say to y'all something. Don't be ashamed of what God has done in your life. If we yes. hold back what God has done for us, then somebody needs to hear that. Right. Yes. Amen. There's yes. somebody out there waiting to hear it. See, I mean, I really, there's somebody going, wait a minute. I'm doing the same thing. I'm sitting in church every Sunday, and I, I really don't have a relationship with God. You don't have to tell us. It's none of our business. But you can talk to the Father about yes. it after this broadcast or even during the broadcast. Yes. But is there anything else you would like to add, Christy? Because you've done a wonderful yes. job tonight. Thank you. Um, I want to add that I walked in shame and guilt, and that was one of the major reasons 
in church, I was never able to get freedom because I carried so much shame and guilt because I had already been married and divorced two times. I'm, you know, married for the third time. Mm -hmm. And all of this, people would come in and they Mm -hmm. might've went to college with me and they knew Mm -hmm. me when I was in the world, living Mm -hmm. for the world and Mm -hmm. uh, drinking and being a drunk and, Mm -hmm. you know, living that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And I would feel, I would see them and I would have so much shame and guilt Mm-hmm. And it kept me bound. That wow. That that shame and guilt in the church kept me bound wow. so hard. And I don't know who said this, but it has been something that I have um, stood on, and I'm continuing to stand on. It says, "When we keep our pain in the dark, we give the enemy the reins. But when mm-hmm. we surrender that pain <laughs> in the light." We give the reins to God. Hallelujah. So surrender the pain to the light, to God, to Jesus, and get that pain out of the dark. You can't get your freedom in the dark. You've got to bring it to the light because to. in the light is where the freedom is. That's where he reigns in the freedom. It is. In the light. Yes. And when you start to use your mouth to speak, mm-hmm. that's where you get freedom. Come that's on. why it says we get freedom in our testimony That's when right. we share our testimony. That's right. And this was not easy. And I thank God that I pr- pressed in and I went ahead and did it because let me tell you, all the way here driving, I was like, <laughs> no, let me just call her and cancel. Let me just say, well, let's just do it a different day, something. And then, you know, the devil, he got in the internet. Oh, yeah. He got on Facebook he did. and we struggled for 30 minutes to get this on. And I was like, uh-huh, I'm going to get out of this. So I was sitting here with my leg shaking, thinking, mm, I'm going to get out of this because this is going to be hard. But God, but God, but God, Hallelujah. thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord. that you Amen. connected all the dots. You got all of this connected and it worked. And I believe that somebody heard yes. one part of anything that I said is, Jesus loves you. Amen. He loves you. And he will leave the whole flock to come for you. He will reach his hand down in the pit. Come on now. In the dirty, the smelly, the stinky, the nasty pit. Yeah. To pull you up. Yes, he will. Because he wants to love on you. Mm. He wants to just wrap his arms around you and hug you and love on you. And that was so hard for me to feel his embrace. Yeah. It was so hard because I was so hardened. Mm -hmm. But when he does it, oh, come on. There's nothing better. There is absolutely nothing better than Jesus' love for us. Yeah. Yeah. And in that, I have a little thrift store, and the Lord has just opened my mouth. And every day I am able to share the good news god's love sometimes it may be just a hug that i give a broken woman but the lord Mm -hmm. is letting me see with new eyes women that are hurting in a whole new way and i am so thankful because all of that pain that was in the dark Mm -hmm. has come to the light and he shows me how to just to love on them Mm -hmm. because and in my little store When they come to check out, we say, can we pray for you? Mm -hmm. And people are shocked Mm -hmm. and amazed that Mm -hmm. somebody would offer prayer for them Mm -hmm. in a public setting. Mm -hmm. And we come around the corner, (laughs) right out to them, and we just pray, Mm -hmm. you know. And for you, this may be some a little much for some people, but we pray (laughs) in the Holy Ghost in my store. Mm -hmm. And I don't quit when somebody new comes in. We just continue to pray. And I'll just motion them on and say, come on in. We're just praying. You know, and the response has been so overwhelming because so many people are hurt. They are. There's so much hurt in the world right now. People want love. Mm -hmm. People want love. And we, as the church, because, you know, we love to give titles, (laughs) you know, and we love to stand behind the title. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. Yeah. And so if you are and you claim to be, then you better show up and you better preach and you better love and you better show people, you know, when they cut you off. Like we say, at Walmart is the hardest place to witness because, you know, it's not the friendliest place, but (laughs) you better be able 
if you call yourself a Christian, to step up and just offer prayer for somebody mm -hmm. because we're in the last days and we don't have time to be fooling around anymore. It's true. People have to know the love of God mm -hmm. and that their sin can be washed away and that the love of God is there and that they can get delivered, they can get healed, they can get set free and live in a freedom and a love for God. Amen. And, you know, people don't really understand Jesus. You know, we have a mindset, and I had this mindset when I was in the world. I don't want to get in the churchy stuff because I might have to change my ways <laughs> and I, I have to give up my partying and my smoking and my drinking and all that stuff. Well, I was right. I was going to have to do that. So I, I steered clear of that, you know, at least I had that much respect, you know, for the Lord. But see, I thought that would take away my freedom. But guess what? I wasn't free. I was bound. See, we got that messed up. You're free. Jesus said it was the scripture. He who the son has set, set free, free is free, free indeed. indeed. So we're free. Yeah. We're oh. free agents. Amen. You can't tell me how to do it. I'm going to the Holy Spirit. You yes. can tell me what you think, mm -hmm. but I'm going to, whoo, to the yes. Holy Spirit. Oh, and so gosh. now I'm older, and it's not just because I'm old I'm serving God, because I was 28 when I got saved, but he's had a mess to deal with all these years. He'd been getting rid of my stuff, so so it's a process, y'all. It's a process. Deliverance is a process sometimes. It's not just all the time just like that. God has to process you and do that, but anyway, I am glad that I know you. I love you. Love I loved you since the first day I laid eyes on you, and I still love you. And she's my partner. Yes. She's my partner. Mm -hmm. And I love her, and we love her, and God has great mm -hmm. things for you. Yeah. And I just pray in the name of Jesus that God, in the name of Jesus, Jesus Lord, that anyone Jesus. listening tonight, yes, I feel the Lord, y'all. Now, I'm just feeling right now. I just feel him right now. Yes. The people go, yes. what does she mean she feels God? Yes. Come on, Jesus. <laughs> I feel your presence. Can I just explain it in yes. lay terms? Yes. The presence of the Lord shifts the atmosphere. Yes. You can feel there's something going on. It's just yes. you'll just be doing what you're doing, and all of a sudden you just feel the shifting. The Holy Spirit says this. I know that people may be listening and they're not responding, but they are being fed tonight. Mm -hmm. And they are going to think about what she said tonight. God is going to, this is this word's not going out empty. God, if there's some people listening right now on this broadcast and on this replay that have been playing church. I'm going to get really dirty with you. You've been playing church most all your life. And you know what? We're on the brink of the tribulation. Yes, we are. Any time now. Facebook, you know. We all know. And so Jesus, it's all in one second it can change. And you'll be still playing church. Don't play church because it won't get you to heaven, folks. I love it. It's great. Your grandma's saved. Your grandpa's saved. Your aunts and uncles. Everybody. But honey, you have to have a relationship with Christ. You have to repent of your sins. Yes. And then you have to change. Yes, you do. By the way, you can't keep continuing them. Because I don't believe that you can keep on doing the same stuff and know Jesus as your Lord. I'm sorry, y'all. That's just the way I believe. You may not believe that way. Some of y'all... May not and may be living that way, but you're going to be surprised. Mm -hmm. But I just want to invite anyone that really tonight, if you receive from Christy tonight, put a one in here. Just put a one up. You don't have to say anything. Just put a one up and say, I received from her testimony tonight. We're going to see if we get some ones on here. <laughs> let's step out and put a one on here. Let's give her some heart. Let's give her some, let's give her some love because she stepped out of her comfort zone we're getting some ones on here um thank you all for these ones she stepped out of her comfort zone to minister to you i see four ones on one 
powerful testimony. Paulette's the one, Henrietta, Miranda, Joyce, Lynn, Debbie, Pam. Let me put mine in here. <laughs> and so, Kelly Joe, I'm just looking at some people that are in here. Like this broadcast, if you will. If I'm going to tell y'all, can I just tell y'all the truth? I've been doing this for years. If you don't share these broadcasts, Facebook's not going to send this out. You know, it's people that have big ministries that say this. You don't share it, it just lays here. But if you'll share it, oh, yes, it can go all over. then it'll start going. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm asking y'all to share this broadcast tonight and let send it to some hurting people. Send it to some people that you know that are depressed and they're mm -hmm. oppressed. Mm -hmm. and, they're, and they need that word. Hey, Glenda, great testimony and message. Mm -hmm. Melissa, thank you for that one. Just the broken. Yes. The broken people. You know, Jesus loves broken, broken people. That's who he uses. That, that's it. Because no. I've been, mm. oh man. He has to break you to use I guarantee you. He had, I had to fold. I had to go under. I mean, I would literally, I wasn't, I didn't go through the same thing you did, but I was a hot mess. And I lost everything I had. I lost my car, my clothes, everything. I was destitute until God said there gotta be something change here and i went to god you know yeah. but um and i hate for anyone to have to go that far but that's you know sometimes people are hard-headed anything yeah. anyone carolyn just would wanted you like to, to share something? how um you know god appointments and how he sets you up mm -hmm. Um, I had heard about Pam and I had seen her through uh -oh. religious circles, you know, in the church, uh, different meetings or whatever, you know, uh, I kind of like I knew her face, but I didn't know her. And through God, uh, I overheard some women talking about going to her house for a prayer meeting. And I thought, hmm, I've been praying for somebody to mentor me and, you know, I really needed deliverance, but, um, through that, overhearing that, I got her address. <laughs> I don't even know how, God. And I just showed up uninvited, not knowing who was going to be there. And I just pulled up, knocked on her door. And when she opened the door, she started to prophesy to me. Didn't know me from anyone. I remember it. And she started prophesying to me, and I was like, I oh, wow, I have really arrived. <laughs> and so I came in, and I sat down, and I was just kind of looking around thinking, "Woo, these are some powerful women. What am I doing here? I showed up at the wrong prayer meeting. <laughs> you know, like, oh, Jesus. And so it was a great meeting. It was a lot done. We need to do some more of those home yes, ones. Yes, we do. I love that intimacy. I do too. I, I like the, the home intimacy meetings. of mm. that because you can really share. Yeah, there's no there's no mm. rules and regulations. Yeah. I'm gonna say it, yeah. Jesus. You can just get wild for God if you want to. <laughs> you can twirl your flag and <laughs> show for your horn and do what you want to do. Yes. And pray how you want to pray. If Amen. You lay or Amen. jump or shout, you can. Amen. And so um I was just so thankful that I had that God appointed meeting because she has really been a spiritual mother to oh, me and a true friend. And that is hard to find. It is hard. And so I just, it was a funny meeting. And yeah. It was a God appointment. And, and you and, know, really back then that's been what, 15 years, maybe at least. And now God already had it planned. planned. Christy, Christy and I, he already see it wasn't then it was now. Yeah. And so I knew I loved her when she agreed to go to Apostle Ryan Lestrange <laughs> with me. I knew right then I loved her because I said, you know, I want to go, but I can't drive very good with my eyesight and stuff. I, and, it, and she said, I'll go with you. I'll drive. I said, that's my goal. I know what, that's my girl right there. And we went, we had the best that's time. We did. We? we really And did. I bought his book. And at the end, I just went up to him and he was praying and he was talking to Pam and he was signing her book and he took my book and he opened it. And he wrote in it, and he shut it, and he handed it back to me. Mm -hmm. And I turned around, and I opened it, and I could not believe what I read. <laughs> and I was so excited, but I was like, I don't know what to do with this. And I went out to pay him, and we got in the car, and it was pouring down rain. Mm -hmm. We ran, and we, we were wet, and we got in the car. And I said, you won't believe what he wrote in my book. You will not believe. And she was like, 
what is it? What is it? I think I said what it was. I think I said something. And you went, yeah. And I handed her the book and she flipped it open and it said, cast out. It sure did. And I think I said something about, I said Christie's about deliverance, Mm -hmm. isn't it? Y'all know that every prophetic person that has the spirit of prophecy in their life, they don't see all different stuff. The spirit of God only stays in one order. So if what he showed Ryan Lestrange, he showed Pam Gladden, and mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not an apostle. But see, he shows different ones the same thing. I knew she had a deliverance ministry. All those years ago. I knew it then. And the Spirit of God don't lie. He don't lie. So it's gonna be decent. That's what he means by decent and in order. It has to be if one if one person's telling you God said this and that, God said that, and God said first of all, go to your word. But 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 I mean, you know, but he saw that gift in her. He yeah. saw that gift. I, I remember you said, you won't believe what he said. And I remember I said, I bet it's about deliverance. Yeah. And on mine, of all things, he wrote, be bold. And I thought, yes, wait a minute, right. God. <laughs> I thought I was already bold. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe I'm not. So she got real me. <laughs> yeah, right. But, oh, this has been a wonderful yes. broadcast tonight. Yes. And I'm, yes. I'm, I'm depending on you guys to comment and like and share. I'm also challenging you. Oh, Lord. Yes. I'm chal- I'm going to go and say it, God. I have to say what the Spirit says. Thank you. God is asking you guys that are listening to step out mm-hmm. of your comfort zone. Mm-hmm. Yes. You must step out mm-hmm. to get delivered. Yes. You must step out to be saved. You have to step out. You have to make a move. And God, we have been at a, st- a stagnant place. And God is saying, I need y'all to step up for me. And I need y'all to be the voices for me in these last days. The remnant of God. Those that truly love Jesus Christ. There are some people that really love Jesus. And we talk about churchy stuff. But honestly, there are some people that love Jesus. They love him. They're devoted to him. And he's depending on us to step out of the comfort zone of religion. He's pouring his spirit out on us. He's pouring his spirit out. He's pouring his spirit out and God is doing a great. And you know what? Mm -hmm. It's fixing to usher in the greatest Mm -hmm. move of God ever because Mm -hmm. it's going to be the last move. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can we just say it? It's going to be the last move. Pentecost Mm -hmm. was the first good one, Mm -hmm. but this is going to be the last one. Hallelujah. The best. (laughs) The best. He saved the best for last. Mm Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know what? He's I, I told my husband something the other day it was really yeah. funny. I don't even know what brought it up. But this is for somebody, I think. I said, you know, Christians need to love each other. Yes. We need to acknowledge each other and love each other. We really do. And I told my husband that I said, Don't 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 make me feel like the woman at the well. And y'all know what I'm saying? Don't make people feel that you think you're superior to them or you're yes. better. The woman at the well, Jesus went out of his way. Yes. Come on, Jesus. All the way out of his way yes. to get to her. Hallelujah. And he's yes. going to go out of his way to get to some of y'all too. Yes. But God, we can't treat each other like we think we're better. Because I've been in the pit. You've been in the pit. Yes. We know about pits. And there may not be some people got saved that didn't go where Christy and I did. But still, we have to treat each other with honor and integrity. Hallelujah. Yes, That's Lord. the really the final thing to know if you really love God mm-hmm. is your character. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's a checklist right there. Mm-hmm. All right. Anyone got something else to say? Christy? Carolyn, you got yes. something you want to say? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> we needed our support tonight. Yes. Miss Carolyn came out here. <laughs> We all attend church. It's the same church. Yes. And and we're, like you said, the tribe. Does anyone have a question for Christy? Actually, we don't have have any pain. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Carolyn was going to come. All right, Carolyn, you yeah, come over and take your seat. Yeah, no, 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 no. She's no, in no. the gift of no, healing. I'm just, no, I just stay right there. They can see me from here. Carolyn <laughs> operates in the gift of healing. We're all supposed to, but... <laughs> But she operates in the anointing for healing. You're fine. You're fine. So she's going to pray. If anyone's got any pain, 
glory. Yes. If anyone's got Please. any pain tonight or if there's something wrong and you need her to pray for you, mm -hmm. go ahead and tell us right now. Okay. We're going to let her pray for you and then we're going to close the broadcast. Right there. <laughs> I'm messing with Miss Pam Shaw. Ms. You Pam go ahead. Pershaw. You go right ahead. Take, 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 your <laughs> take your freedom. Take your freedom. Anybody got any pain? Hey, y'all, you say what you want, but I will say to you one thing. When I had, when I was sick not long ago, and I was laying in that bed, and I was sick, too. Carolyn would call me one night and just spoke healings over me all night. Yes. And I'd sit there going, <laughs> but do you know the next yes. day I was better? Yes. <laughs> so, hey, Robert, how are you? Help me, Lord, to go out of my way, Miss Joyce Thompson said. There's something that says pain in my joints. Pain in her joints. Ma Maxine Huckins. Okay, Miss Maxine. Ooh, shaka. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Glory to God. Hey, Miss Maxine, yes. put your hand right there where the pain is at. Yes. Put your hand on there, right there. Ooh. You know, oh, Jesus always asks uh, different ones to do something. She got a quarter of a Glory. Thank you, Lord. Father, right now, in the name of oh, Jesus, God. I speak to that pain in those joints, joints right now. I command every bit of pain to leave right now. I said, pain, go in right now Jesus. in Jesus' name. Every bit of it, go. Oh, From every crack and cramming, get out of there in Jesus' name. Yes, I speak Lord. healing. I speak Jesus. Holy Ghost lubrication. Yes. I speak the fire of God. Yes. She called her robo. She Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ms. Faye Glenn has been really sick for a long time. Uh, she has pain in her wrist and knees and feet. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Well, we just Jesus. lift her up to you. Yes, Lord. Okay. Yes. So, Father God, you. Oh, you've given us the power and the authority to speak to those things. Okay. God, you, you told us to speak to those mountains. And right now joints. I speak to all of those uh, those aches and pains in the joints and, 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 and every part of her body right now. We Jesus. take authority and dominion over the it right Jesus. now. Jesus. And we say every bit of pain, get out right Hallelujah. now. Hallelujah. Go. We say bye-bye. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. we say, be healed right now. Be Glory. set free. Every bit Jesus. of pain, go right Glory now. Glory to Jesus. We life. speak to it. We yes. speak life. We say yes. pain. We command you to come up and out of her body. We command you to be cast into the sea right now. Jesus. We tell you where to go in Jesus' yes, name. You know, my Ooh, friend Lord. Jill has had a, a ovarian Lord. cancer, and the Holy Spirit gave me a word of knowledge. I think it was a word of knowledge, y'all. He said, tell her to take daily communion. Yeah. And she started taking it. We did it first. And then mm -hmm. she took it. Mm -hmm. Honey, she is cancer free. Yes. Yes. She got her report Hallelujah. the other day. Jesus. She is cancer God, free. So now, you and the laugh if you want to. But communion yes. is a meal Jesus. that heals. A meal that heals. And I, yes. my son yes. told me that. And I went, I've never heard that. <laughs> you don't have to Jesus. take communion once a year. Yeah, I know. Take, take it every day. Yeah. Take two or three times a day. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yes. Um, Hallelujah. Someone Hallelujah. has acid reflux. Now, I, I, we, we're going to go into healing service here. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, wait a minute. Let's make sure we don't leave anybody out. And Glenda, I thank God because she said she prayed. I prayed that her arthritis would be taken away the next morning she could move. Thank you, Lord. Um, Thank you, Jesus. Okay. At prayers for acid reflux for Debbie Lehman. All right. Okay. Christy, you speak to that right now. Lord, right now we mm. speak to Debbie. Mm. Thank to you, Debbie Lord. Lehman to this acid mm -hmm. reflux. Mm. Lord, we speak life. Right. Life, yes, Lord, life into her right now. Right. And as we say, Lord, you take easy. that heat, that pain away. Mm -hmm. Take that acid reflux away. That is not hers to carry. Mm -hmm. And right. so I say for it to come up and come out in the mm -hmm. name of Jesus right now. Be healed. Yes. Have faith that you are healed. Mm -hmm. By his stripes, we oh, are healed in the name of Jesus. Let me yeah. speak to you right now, Jesus. Debbie, in the name of Jesus. You, the Lord has given me a word you, uh, for you Father. that this uh, acid reflux has come from the stress and the anxiety that the oh that you have been under and the Holy Spirit is saying, I'm gonna I'm gonna mm. stop this right mm. now. You, I'm gonna give you back peace. Ooh, I'm gonna give great. you peace. Mm. That that actually affected your body, that mm. stress and anxiety that you walked through. 
And he said that was the root cause of this. So we're speaking to that, that her body and her mind will be at peace and yes. she will have complete, you, absolute Jesus. freedom you, from this acid reflux you, in the name of yes, Jesus. Jesus. Peace Hallelujah. right now in the name of Paulette, Jesus. Paulette, I have problems from a stroke. Um, she I'm she still having problems from my stroke. What does she tell us? Paulette, y'all know more people are sick in this world right now. More people are in pain and hurting, not just yes. mental, but even physical. Yes. Paulette, we speak to the, your body in the name of Jesus, Jesus, Lord. Father, it's 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 not by might and it's not by power, but it's by your spirit, saith the Lord. God, your blood covers everything. It covers sickness. Yes. It covers inner healing. It covers everything Jesus. god that blood is pure mm -hmm. holy mm -hmm. undefiled i'm a god in the name of jesus. jesus father it is a holy blood this yes. blood can take a leper and make them clean yes. Come on now. this blood can take a sinner like pam gladden and make her a preaching <laughs> woman in the name of jesus i mean he yes. can take an alcoholic yes. and take yes. them and make them not even want to drink anymore he can take your cigarettes and he can take the addiction away i didn't jesus. even mean to go this direction yes. holy spirit jesus. but you're going this way god's speaking to people that have addictions tonight yes god said you are addicted and i'm not going to scold you i am going to help you deliver you, you need deliverance and that jesus. addiction is because of the wounds mm. in your life give it up tonight jesus said yes. give it up lay it down because i will deliver you he said i will deliver yes. you yes. i will yes. i'm the deliverer Yes, he is. Come on, I, I mean, I, he is the deliverer. Yes, he is. I mean, oh, come yes. on now, Jesus. Thank you don't you have Lord. withdrawals when Jesus does something. Thank you, Lord. You don't have to go through the twelve-step program. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Those cigarettes got to go. I don't know who I'm preaching to, but those cigarettes are hurting your body and your lungs. God said, "I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm not trying to scold you. I'm trying to deliver you. You need to lay those things down in the name of Jesus." They also harden your heart. Mm -hmm. They harden your heart. And boy, I was Jesus. addicted to them. Yes. And boy, I loved them. And I told God I loved them. I said, I don't want to be delivered from this. I like these cigarettes. I'll give up the bourbon. I'll give up the bars. But I'm not giving up cigarettes. Stay skinny, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I told him that. I told him that. And then God just delivered me. And I didn't even have a withdrawal. Hallelujah. I want to speak to Paulette also. All right. Father, right now, I just thank you for Paulette right now. Father, uh, the left. symptoms that she's having from that stroke right now, I speak reset to her body. Yes, I say Jesus. factory reset as if it never even happened. Yes. I speak healing right healing. now. Yes, I command Lord. her body to return to normal, normal and to be the way God created her to be. From the very beginning of time, God, we thank you and we praise you. Healing is heard. Healing Lord. is now. Yes, Lord. Jesus. By Jesus Christ's stripes, you are healed. The it's blood done of Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Ooh, yes, Lord. I say sure just right. want, need one step. That's Jesus. That is the absolute <laughs> truth. Just, But we just said a while ago, you have to take a step. step. Mm -hmm. You have to. And I, and again, I want to say over Miss Faye, Miss Faye, you have been going through a really, really bad time. And God, I speak health to her body. Yes. God, we that agree. this body woo, would be Jesus. would be stabilized, God, Ooh, that her weight gain Ooh. would come back. Ooh. She would have an appetite, God. Yes. And God, she's not going down, but she's mm -hmm. going up in yes, the name Lord. of Jesus, Jesus Lord. Lord. I want to speak to her also. Okay. Father God, Jesus. right now, Ooh, God, I'm a Ooh, a Father, right now, I just make Jeez. a Holy Spirit fireball. And in this Lord, fireball, by God. faith, it's the size of a soccer ball, and I speak healing in it. I speak the word of God, and I speak deliverance in it. And on the count of uh, three, two, one, I'm going to throw it. And, sister, you just receive it right now. There's no distance in spirit, space, and time. Three, two, one, zero. In Jesus' name. I, 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 I
word for saying it. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your love, Father. Yes, you love. You know, we don't understand yes, the things of God. We we want to package it up like we want it. But, you know, God will do some really odd things. And then we, we will go, what do you mean? Like uh, spitting on somebody. I mean, give me a break. That would have probably offended us if we got spit on by Jesus. But he did it. And that man was healed. Yes, I'm he telling was. you, you you can't limit anything with God. He just works in mysterious ways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, really. I mean, he's so much greater than us and so much greater than our mindsets you know he proceeds it he goes over it yes, he hallelujah mm -hmm. thank you lord thank you thank Jesus. you lord hallelujah and i oh lord i i feel this too and i i, mean, I didn't know he's gonna get into this prayer <laughs> thing but here it goes i, I speak you, debbie i'm gonna step on out and and speak this over you for financial assistance god that you would supply her needs according to your riches and glory. Father, I feel like that she has a need, and I pray that, God, that you would assist her. Woo, Jesus, favor. thank you, Lord. Favor, Give her Lord. divine favor, God, as she is a prophetess of the Lord. And, God, I know that a prophetess of the Lord will not go without. Open in the, the name well. of Jesus. Yes. Open the well. Open the well. Ooh, Hallelujah. And pour your love over Debbie in the name of oh, Jesus. Jesus. Hey, Shelby, how are you? Pour your love. Oh, God is ministering tonight. Yes, he is. Thank you, Lord. So we can't time God. We can't <laughs> shut him down because he's wanting to do something and, and touch somebody's body. I didn't plan a healing service. I didn't plan any of this. That Jesus. people are coming in because see the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes, he's God. The Holy Spirit is prevalent. Mm -hmm. And he is here. He's yeah. here. And he moves yeah. according to how he wants to move. And I just have to get out of your way, Jesus, Lord. Holy Spirit. God, I pray for deliverance. There's going to be deliverance somewhere in this tonight. Somebody's getting delivered tonight. Yes, this this ministry that she has ministered and, and give to y'all, God is, like I said, he told me a while ago, some of y'all might not be commenting, but you're thinking. Yes, Lord. You don't Lord. have to comment. You just have to think. Wait a minute. I think she's right. I think I, I think I am a little bit. I think I do need deliverance. Hallelujah. Jesus. Debbie said, yes, I do. I know that you have a need. Father, in the name of Jesus, you, by the time Jesus. this week Lord, is over, Lord. God will supply your needs according to his riches and glory. Jesus, send her gifts in the mail, send her checks, send her love offerings, whatever you need to do, God, get it in her hand. Hallelujah. Everything will be taken care of in that medical bills. Don't you worry about it. Jesus is going to take care of it. Come on, Jesus. He's good at canceling debts. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, Jesus. Jackie, Hallelujah. God bless you, my sister Lord, from Ohio. Lord, Lord. God bless you. you. Whoa, you, Jesus. Lord. Father, we have an open, open prayer meeting tonight. It's open. open Holy door. Spirit. We don't we don't care if how we look, what we sound like. God likes it. Yes. Hallelujah. Holy Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, Lord, I'm good. Good. Shelby's good. Robert, God bless you, my brother in the Lord. How I love you. How you're such a man of God. And I'm going to speak it and keep speaking it until it happens. But you are a pastor. You have a pastoral anointing on you. I don't know when you're on pastor, but you have an, a pastoral. And it might just be on Facebook. Whatever it is, you are anointed by the Lord. Thank you. As a pastor, mm -hmm. you feed sheep. You like to feed people. You just want to feed people. <laughs> Come on, Robert. You know I'm telling the truth. See, <laughs> you like to just feed people. You mm -hmm. don't care about notoriety. You don't care about love offerings, really. Mm -hmm. You just want to come on. And all he preaches on is salvation, Jesus, really. Oh, that's that's what a pastor yes. does. Come on, Jesus. Send him a the pastor hungry. to Send be. The hungry. Yes. Oh, and, and so, Robert, I speak blessings over you in the name of Jesus. Jesus. 
my mm -hmm. sweet Jackie. I speak blessings over you. Mm -hmm. I speak provisions over you. Mm -hmm. And Jesus, mm -hmm. everything she needs, God, you remember mm -hmm. her, God, at the midnight hour. Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh glory. <laughs> you remember those midnight hours. Jesus. Lord, provide her what she needs. And God, Ooh, you know and I know what Jesus. she needs. Jesus. Father, we ask you, Lord, to bless my sister Jackie. Amen. Jesus. Well. Bless her real good. God, I love her. And you love Jesus. her too, Jesus. Woo! Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. We speak inner Jesus. healing to people tonight. Yes, yes we do. People Jesus. that have been hurting. They're trying their best. They're doing everything they know to do, God, but they still have that wound. They just can't get over it, God. Yes. I pray, Lord, that you would go in and deliver them, God, inner healing, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Mend that heart that's mm. been broken, God, yes. in the name of Jesus. Jesus is the only one that yes. can do heart surgery and not yes. leave a scar. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's good. Thank you, Father. He'll never leave a scar. He'll just open you up, yes. work on you, close you up, and that's it. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for Sherby, uh, okay. boyfriend. I think she said a friend. Okay. Right now, we just speak to that back problem right now. Mm -hmm. We speak to every muscle, tender, ligament, joint, all of the nerves, Jesus. the blood flow, the marrow, and the bones. We speak healing right now. We oh, command Jesus. every bit of pain to leave right oh, now in the oh, name Jesus. of Jesus. We claim the scripture by Jesus Christ stripes. He is healed yes. in Jesus' name. Life right now in, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Be made whole. Jesus. Amen. Ooh, yes, Lord. Premature death, we pray against that in the name of Jesus, oh, Henrietta. In the name of Jesus, Father, we block by the blood of Christ the premature death in this family, God, or in, or in her whole family, God, in the bloodline, Lord. God bless you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Alicia is on here. Yes. I, uh, she had came in and I told her, I mm -hmm. said, Krista just got to be sure mm -hmm. yeah. about you said that mm -hmm. uh, God had told, had you praying for her. I remember her praying yeah. for her. I remember. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Let me go. Let me tell y'all this too. This will make some of y'all step out of the boat. <laughs> now, listen, Help me, Lord. I mean, really, it'll make you step out of the boat. It's not easy to step out of the boat, y'all. Because we we're we we're afraid people are going to laugh at us. Or, you know. Or judge us. Yeah, or judge us. Yeah. She's right. But when Christy was down at the altar, now, y'all may laugh at this, but I'm going to tell you the truth. Christy, I'm on the prayer team, so we have these little things you wear around your neck. And so I wanted to do what I'm supposed to do, but I forgot my name tag. <laughs> and it was during the revival. And I, I, I thought, well, I don't want to, you know, I'm supposed to do this. And we're supposed to do what we're supposed to do, you know. We're, if we have a, you know. So I went over and told Miss Carol, I said, I, I forgot my badge. And she went, well, go back there in the back of the church and find you one. Well, there wasn't one back there. So here is the truth before Jesus Christ, my Lord. I sat down in the front of the church, and it was a revival. And I sat down on the pew, and I said, well, God, I'm not going to pray for anybody <laughs> because I don't have a tag, and I don't want to get in trouble. A lie. And <laughs> I'm going to just sit here and pray for myself. I sat down on that pew and started praying for myself, you know, giving God, oh, God, I'm just, I need this, I need that, I need this. And all of a sudden, I saw this little girl standing over there, and the, Miss Alicia was praying for you. And the Lord said, "Woo!" Jesus. <laughs> Come on, Jesus. The Lord said, the Lord said it. Thank you, Father. Go lay hands on her and tell her that she is going to have inner healing. Mm -hmm. And I. <laughs> Amen. And I obeyed, which I don't always do that. 
But I obeyed him and I put my hand on her and said, Enter healing. And she hit that floor. And I then the enemy said, She fell on that floor and that floor is hard and you have hurt her. You have hurt her. You are going to get in trouble. I went, Oh no, Lord Jesus. And so I come, and then that's what happened. The rest of the story happened with her. She got deliverance that night. But see, this is what I'm trying to tell you. If the Lord tells you to do yes. something, and it's the Holy Spirit, and you know that it is, and the Lord, the devil ain't going to tell you to go pray for nobody, <laughs> then do it and step out of your comfort zone. Yes. And then it ain't going to hurt. Even if I was wrong, I still could have laid hands on her and went on about my business. But it was God. Yes, it was. And so I'm just saying that to tell people, step out of the legalism. Yes. Do what God tells you. It's usually going to be something that's... <laughs> It's going to be a little different. I'm sorry, but it's, it's and I'm been, thankful that Alicia was bold. Yes, Alicia yes. was bold. She yeah, went yeah. down to pray for me. She sure she did. Could have just sat in yeah. her pew because she right. was the mm-hmm. one down there with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then here come the old lady over there because I just I just heard that word. I just <laughs> heard it. Yeah. And then we had we just had we just yeah. it. But see, she obeyed. I obeyed. You obeyed. We got to obey him. Mm-hmm. Amen. I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you. And when she, uh, Sister Pam did that, it was like I a love. fist hit me in the stomach. Mm-hmm. It and hit me was, too. I was on the floor. <laughs> when you hit, it hit me they too. They said I bounced. It hit me just as hard <laughs> as it hit you. When I, It is not me, but it was the Holy Spirit. Yes. And when I put my hand on you and said, enter healing, I didn't even say it loud. You know how Pentecostal, mm-hmm. how we are. In the name of Jesus. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> no. I just laid my hand over and said, enter healing. <laughs> Woo! Man, it hit, it hit her and it hit me. And it hit hard. And yes. I'm going to tell you something. The Holy Spirit... Woo! Yeah, I couldn't resist that. Mm-mm, me no, neither. Hey, Kayla, that. God bless you, darling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kayla is a minister. She is a prophetess of the Lord, Kayla Osborne. We are. We started out tonight with her testimony. <laughs> you guys can yes. go back and listen to it. We're not all polished and all that. No. You know what we are? We're real. Yes. We're real. <laughs> real country. We're real country. Real. We're, we're country. I'm a country girl. Me too. Yeah, me too. I, I mean, I have an accent, but I don't. I don't know nothing about cows and chickens, but I have an accent. I don't know. It's Ar- Arkansas. I don't even think Arkansas people have this bad accent. I'm from Mississippi. I'm from Mississippi. Jennifer Jacks, God bless you. And and Norma Frisbee, God bless you for coming in. You guys can watch the replay tonight. Tomorrow. Or tomorrow. Or next week. If anyone has any prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I feel this. Whoa. Let, let us, oh, okay, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, uh, oh, Jennifer, did you just say Jennifer Jacks? I yeah. didn't see her on mine, but yeah. anyway, let us pray for Devin, yes. her son, while, yes. while we're on here. Yes. God has just done, done, <laughs> he, 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 he done, done a million He's done a miracle. miracles. Oh, miracle after miracle. But mm-hmm. Father, right now, Jesus. we lift up Devin to you right yes, now, yes, Father Lord. God. Father, oh, wow. Father, we just pray for his core that it be strengthened. Strength. Father, we pray Lord. for his balance right now. Glory. Balance to come into alignment yes. that his body will be strengthened, strengthened. Father God. We Jesus. speak the Ooh. word of the Lord, Lord which Jesus. says the mind of the righteous is blessed. His memory is blessed. Yes. Yes, Father Lord. God, we thank you that you Jesus. have your hand yes, on him. Lord, yes, so Lord, continue Jesus. to surround him with your love, the blood of Jesus yes, over Lord. his life. Right. We pray a hedge of protection Bow. around about it. God, yes. we lift up Jennifer and David. God, that yes. you would just continue to touch them. Yes. And God, they know that you are an awesome miracle yes, working Lord. God. Because Jesus. when the doctor said uh, that there's yes. no hope and all of that, Jennifer said, 
I know the God I serve. Yes, and Jesus. she stood yes, and we prayed she. and and we we have people just all over the world that has been praying. Praise and God, God, we thank you Beautiful. that you're raising Devin up and they're in their new resident. They have a new address and yes. I'm going to get that and post it. And, and, and we just thank you, Father, for yes. what you're doing. Mm -hmm. We thank you that he's going to graduate yes. from that, yeah, from, uh, from there. And yeah. Father, we give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. We speak yes, healing. We speak life. We command the right side of yes, his Lord. body to line up with the left side, that it will work like a well-oiled machine in yes. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo, glory. There's going to be, a, um, There's. I'm stepping out in faith to say this, God. Thank you, there, I don't know Jennifer. I don't know her at all. I don't know this family yeah, at all. Okay. But, but I see a ministry being birthed in this family. Oh, come on now! Oh, Woo. Yes. There's a ministry being David birthed in this family. New life, and he's gonna get that testimony. There, there's yes. a ministry coming out of your family, Jennifer. Ooh. It's coming out. <laughs> this thing is bringing forth a ministry. Mm -hmm. yes. Glory testimony. to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I feel that, Lord. Oh, I Jesus. can't. I had to deliver that one, Jesus. And, yes. I, and I know with all the miracles that God has did for Davin and yes. Jennifer and family, mm -hmm. I mean, it has just blessed me. I mm -hmm. mean, this happened and then this happened and God is just doing so many things. It has, it has increased my faith. <laughs> yes, I, I've watched it with everybody yes. and not knowing Amen. him and all. It didn't yes. matter if yes. I know him or I'm just praying for him. Amen. But I do see a Thank ministry you, coming forth out of this family mm -hmm. over this this right here is bringing forth Praise a birth God. and a ministry. Yes, thank yes. you, Lord. And I see, Ooh. I see Jennifer is involved in this oh, ministry. Glory, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jennifer, I Jesus. see it. I even see a book being written Ooh. in the name Ooh. of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Of all Lord. the pain mm. and the walking, mm. you Shining. will write it, Ooh. and you and it will it will be a bestseller. Amen. I Hallelujah. never say this kind of stuff. God, this is the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I got my hair sticking up, Lord. I mean, Father, I, I see it. That is the ministry. That is the birth of that ministry. Where is the book, Lord? Where is the book? The book. Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to step on out. I will step out when I hear you, Lord. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning, Robert. I'm learning. Thank you. Robert has been on. We've been we've been friends since 2017 or 16. Jackie on Periscope. All of us. We've been ministering. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Miss Brenda Lipton's sister from Spain. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Yes, I cannot help but see that. My Lord, it's going to just come out of nowhere. The in the name of Jesus. Yeah, that, that. <laughs> Hallelujah. God, we are just Jesus. praising you. God, Periscope is where mm -hmm. we started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was all one. And oh, all man. Do it, 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 was, it was something. My Praise sister God. Jackie's on here. She'd have 10,000 people in there one time <laughs> praying at midnight. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. We are all learning. Yes, we yes. are. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Everyone that's coming in tonight, God bless you for, for this. And, and like I said, you can you can sit down mm -hmm. when you're in a quiet place and listen mm -hmm. to this testimony and, mm -hmm. and listen to all this. But we are just, what we're doing right now is being led by the Spirit. Mm -hmm. We're not, we don't have any, I don't have any notes, God. Now, I'm not against notes because I've used some notes, but I'm just saying you have to just flow sometimes. You you go where you don't know. You just go. You just have a led by the Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Anyone else need prayer while we're in here? I know uh, I know uh, Christy has to drive about 50 miles back home, don't you? Yeah, about 45. Mm -hmm. 45. But you, when you were saying periscope, mm -hmm. I was seeing like that old tiny submarine, you know, and they would take that periscope Ooh. up, but it was from the water under mm -hmm. the underside of the water and it would come up <laughs> and they would use it like yeah, this and they yeah. would look around. Look around. <laughs> yeah. So back then y'all were in the water. But you were coming oh, up. Wow. We sure were so to prepare cool. you so for what was coming ahead. Wow. Mm -hmm. Robert, did you hear that? That's really mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And, and when she was saying that, I'm thinking like, oh, the eyes of the Lord oh, runs right. to and fro. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, yes they do. Lord, Jesus. Thank yeah. you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray, God, that you would bless Kayla's ministry, God, and you would increase it, Lord. Yes. Open doors for her and help her. Any way she needs, anything she needs, God, we ask you to provide it in Jesus' name. Glory, Lord. Father, we need our debts canceled. Yes, God, we're about to go through something that we have not been through ever. And God, we ask for a supernatural Yes. Supernatural cancellation of our debts. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. That we can walk through that. this thing mm-hmm. confidently that know that God is our source yes. and that we will not come on. Uh, come on. God can cancel uh, debts, y'all. I'm yes, sorry, he but he can do that. Yes, he can. He can do that. Good night, June. Anyone else need prayer for we close down? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Anyone need prayer? Thank you, Lord. Diane Hartness, thank you for coming in. I've been praying to be debt free and it's going to happen. Yeah, I've been praying that too. I've been praying that too. And speaking to that debt. Yes. All right, folks, I think we're going to close it down. Everybody feel okay with that? (laughs) We thank you again, Carolyn. Okay. Chrissy's going to do this, and then we're going to end the broadcast. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all of his commandments, which I command this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Mm. Blessed shall you be in the city. Blessed shall you be in the yes. field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body and the fruit of your ground and the fruit of your cattle, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of the sheep. Blessed shall be the basket and thy store. Blessed shall they be thou comes in and blessed shall you be when you go out. The Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against you to be smitten before your face. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in the storehouses in all that you set thy hand to. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God is giving you. The Lord shall establish you a holy people unto himself as he has sworn unto thee. If thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways and all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord and they shall be afraid of thee. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. She just read to you Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 11, the blessing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus. Receive yeah. that. Yes. Amen. Ooh, and we do receive you. it. <laughs> yes, Thank we you, do. Father. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, Thank I think we're going to close the night. Um, I'll let you go ahead and click the close. Before we get off, mm-hmm. right quick, there's uh, just keep sensing over and over and over the Holy Spirit that there's someone with a male person. I know if it's your husband, if it's your son, that needs deliverance. Mm-hmm. They are on drugs. They are addicted. And the door to the enemy has been left wide open and it is dire. It is dire in this hour that they be prayed for. Is there anybody with a male, it's a man, that needs deliverance? Because we can pray for them. Amen. Amen. Anybody? Jackie saying amen. I'm not sure. Oh, well, she was just saying amen. That really heavily that it's a, someone that has a male in there. Y'all uh, need my to listen to the Lord. Says my stepson, Jason. Okay. okay. So right now, we are going to hold hands mm-hmm. and be in agreement. Mm-hmm. 
with Maxine right now for this stepson, Jason. We're calling Jason out right now in the name of Jesus mm -hmm. for deliverance in his life mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, yes, woo Lord. him, draw him. Yes. Oh, mm. right now in the name of Jesus, I say to every demonic entity that's in him, come out in the name of Jesus. Open his eyes to see, to see where the, the enemy has come in and invaded him and that his uh, door, that he can see where the door is opened. And the drugs that he's used and the things that he's seen while he was high. Lord, right now I come against every one of those demonic attacks and every uh, thing that the enemy has brought into him, Lord. I close the door right now in the name of Jesus. We say no more. Get out in the name of Jesus right now. Jason, we're calling you. We're calling you. The Holy Spirit. Listen, the Holy Spirit is speaking to you right now, Jason. We're calling to you, Jason. Hear the voice of the God. Hear the voice of the Holy Spirit yes. drawing you right now in Jesus' name. Jesus. Yeah, Hallelujah. Yeah, I felt that. Jesus. Ooh. I felt that. Jesus. I felt that strong. Ooh. Yeah. Being obedient. Jesus. Yeah. I'm going to let Hallelujah. you click. Do you feel anything else you want to say? Mm. It was just for, for Jason. Amen. Yeah. Amen. All right. Well, Deliverance. We're going to close close out then. I'll let you click it on the close. Or Carolyn, one of the others. <laughs> I can't sleep with those lights. <laughs> Love y'all. Thank you for listening. Uh -huh. Bye. Bye, Bye y'all. Good night. <laughs>